Hey everybody, so these next couple of slides are going to be discussing the general features of bones, <clears throat> excuse me, um, most specifically those of long bones. So everything we're going to talk about here for first couple slides are going to be mostly centered around long bones. So that said, I'm going to go in between these two slides because this slide here is dis explaining all of what you can see in the next slide. So yeah, I can read this to you, but really what I'm trying to show you is the different sections of the bone, right? So here are some of the terms that you should become familiar with as we move on in this unit. The epiphyses or the epiphysis are going to be the ends of the bones. The diaphysis is the name for the middle section of the bone, the long part of the bone. So basically the entire bone is here and we have a name for the middle part, the diaphysis, and we have a name for the two ends the epiphyses, right? Epi, top, like the ends. Next, there is a difference between the compact bone and the spongy bone. The compact bone is the bone that we typically think about, the more densely compacted bone, right? And whereas the spongy bone is exactly what it sounds like, it's, it's much more aerated and you can see the holes within it. In long bones, as you can see here, is at the epiphyses, we will have spongy bone. In the diaphysis, it's going to be primarily composed of compact bone. So that's something important to keep in mind. It is a little different, as you'll see in a second, I'll show you right now, with different types of bones. So again, when you're looking at something like a flat bone right here, you're going to see that there's compact bone on the outside of the bone. And then in the middle, there may be some spongy bone. So it does vary between bone to bone but let's remain here with the, the long bone. Next up, articular cartilage. Articular cartilage is something we've discussed in the past, and it is going to be the cartilage that is at the epiphyses, on the epiphysis of the bone. This is going to be where the joints are going to be, so that, as you can see here, the white sections, this is uh, within the joints so that the bones can make sure they can move without grinding bone on bone with other bones in the area. So that's really important. Next up, we have the periosteum and the endosteum. And it's, it's kind of hard to see in this image. This over here does the best job. Think of it kind of like a wrapping um, of connective tissue. So pretend that we have this bone right here and we're going to wrap it up with some, some clear plastic wrap. If you do that, that would be the periosteum. It is a thin film of connective tissue on the outer part of the bone. Now, when we look in the bone, you can see that there's this cavity here. This is called the medullary cavity. So this is a section of the bone where we're going to find our marrow. All the marrow is going to be in the middle of this bone. All of the yellow marrow is going to be in the middle of this medullary cavity. Lining the medullary cavity is going to be endosteum, another Connective tissue, very similar to periosteum. The only difference is the endosteum, endo, is going to be on the inside of the bone where the medullary cavity is. So these are some of the terms, and we can see these terms on the bone. And hopefully this helped give you a better visualization of what is actually going on here. So if you have any questions on this, please let me know.